Archaeology isn't just an Indiana Jones movie. Researchers study ancient artifacts in the name of science to learn about our ancestors. And for years, that included human remains, including those of Native American tribes, which still exist. But decades ago, a legal line was drawn over those remains, and some say it's still being crossed. Ryan Laughlin now with his Four Investigates report. <laughs> The past can teach us in the present, as well as also satisfy our curiosity to know the human story and how we're all connected. Buried beneath the Maxwell Museum of Anthropology at the University of New Mexico, there are clues about how people once lived. So this bowl is a glaze painted bowl. In the basement is where some of the three million artifacts owned by the museum are stored. You can see there's some nice designs that look like there's little dragonflies and sort of stylized birds on this pot. So this pot is probably around 600 years old. Anthropology is the study of what it means to be human. And it's a very ambitious discipline. Carla Sinopoli has been the director of the Maxwell Museum for a couple years, but her experience with archaeology goes back four decades. And she says a lot has changed in that time. There was very little discussion about our ethical obligations to descendant communities and how archaeology was a science and it was kind of separate from the communities whose past we are studying. For decades, Native American burial grounds like this one in southern New Mexico in the 1920s were excavated and human remains and artifacts were taken in the name of science. There are very few instances of uh, Caucasian remains in museum collections. Quite a significant collection of African American remains in museums, but it's still dwarfed incredibly by this 200,000 individual people that have been held in museums for hundreds of years. Then came a new federal law. NAGPRA, the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act, was passed in 1990. NAGPRA establishes that human remains of America's first people and the burial artifacts do not belong to science or to a museum. They belong to their tribes. And museums and institutions have both a moral and legal obligation to return them to their rightful owners. Melanie O'Brien manages NAGPRA on a national level. They are all required to repatriate Native American human remains and cultural items back to the tribes uh, that they belong to. Their journeys have been disrupted. It's an issue deeply personal to the governor of Yakima Pueblo, Brian Vio. We do this work because our ancestors should be at peace. There's absolutely no rationale for housing ancestral ancestors in any collection. A Pueblo like Acoma invests a tremendous amount of time and resources uh, into these efforts. Acoma has a team of cultural leaders dedicated to retrieving remains of ancestors and artifacts. There's a value, there's a monetary value for the non-native and uh, that's very problematic and something that I hope institutions, especially museums, are rethinking. Part of my job is to track the numbers. O'Brien says museums are working on returning human remains, but some more quickly than others. As I said, about 80,000 individual people have been repatriated to the tribes, um, but that leaves about 120,000 people still in museums, still in boxes and on shelves, not at rest, waiting to go home. O'Brien says nationwide, 30 years after NAGPRA became lost, 60% of the ancestral human remains are still waiting to be returned and reburied. New Mexico is doing better than the national average. Out of 10,000 human remains identified by NAGPRA in New Mexico, 6,000 human remains have been returned. Three decades after the law took effect, 40% or 4,000 human remains are still sitting in museum collections.
Do you know how many human remains are yet to be repatriated here at the Maxwell? Well, I think we estimate over a thousand. The Maxwell started work on returning artifacts in 1991 by identifying, documenting, and trying to reach out to tribal groups. There are still human remains in the Maxwell Museum. Mm -hmm. You know, what is taking so long to get some of these very important people back to where they belong? It's a really good question, and I think all of us wish, wish that we were moving, that, that the work was, was going more quickly. They say it's time-consuming, costly work. It took them until 1999 to return their first human remains. Today, they've returned over 800 individuals to different tribes across the state, doing some of the work with NAGPRA grant money. Now we're moving into uh, a new generation of curators and archaeologists who are more committed um, to repatriation practices. Do I think 30 years is way too long? Yes, I do. I wish things had moved more quickly, but we are committed to moving forward as quickly as, as we can. The Maxwell is not alone. New Mexico Highland University and New Mexico State University also have human remains waiting to be returned according to the NAGPRA inventory. And to be clear, the law prohibits us from filming any NAGPRA specific items and none of the things the Maxwell showed us were ancestral human remains or burial artifacts. For Four Investigates, I'm Ryan Laughlin.